And good evening, folks. I am eating, and this is Harry. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, we're here again. Um, so this is, I think this is the end of uh, Dooku's um, story. So, and still have fair ways to go for the other two. Um, do, do we want to do the RNG thing again or just finish Dooku? I like how there's four levels in Geonosis. <laughs> G says Grievous. Okay, fair enough. Oh, Lara Grievous, duh. I remember those episodes. Oh, those were, those were fun ones. Um, it's also come to my attention that, unless I'm mistaken, I don't think there's a level where you actually fight Dooku in this game. Which is kind of bizarre, but... I don't think, like, not counting the movie, I don't think you see, you see, like, a actual lightsaber fight with him until a, quite a bit later on. Don't remember when, but... Oh my god. Oh man. Is this gonna work? Nope. Okay, we're gonna have to come back for that. Uh. So, yeah, how are things going? <laughs> Uh -huh. Is the footage any any um, smoother than it usually is? Ask me again in two hours is when things go to heck. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, one thing. Boy, if only there was an astromech droid that could just glide over to the studs. Yeah, that would be pretty convenient. An astromech. Droid in your ship. Yeah, so like you can't do that for some reason. Uses R4 units. <laughs> I don't remember this. What the heck? So I, can I go back and make them do this? Ah. The sensor bar is like in a really awkward position. Yeah, you're gonna, sh you're gonna shoot it. Okay. Oh, okay. That's actually kind of clever. I like that. Just gonna be stuck in here. <laughs> So it's kind of interesting how, um, what is it, in the 2003 Clone Wars series, they made, they made Grievous, like, this really imposing threat, and the other, like, the, like Revenge of the Sith and 08 Clone Wars make him a bit more, I guess, like a bumbling fool in comparison, <laughs> which is kind of an interesting contrast. Um... I believe Lucas just. Ugh, I can't talk. I think Lucas just liked it. I could be pulling something out of my backside. Um, I think Luke. 
I think George liked the design of Grievous and just carried it over to the movie. Yeah. They have papered over the characterization differences retroactively. Hmm. Well, I assume I assume the uh, the two D cartoon and Sif was being made at the same time. Um, and probably, and that's yeah. the side effect of multimedia proper multimedia stuff. You never know who's talking to who at any point in time. Yeah. I gripe about Disney a lot, but they keep a they generally keep a tighter leash on the expanded universe now. Yeah. Generally. <laughs> and, yeah, I mean, George had a far more hands-off approach to the e old EU. Like, the movies always superseded everything else. Yeah, and I know, like, they um, had a bunch of uh, mandates. Like, they can't kill off, like, a lot of the main cast or whatever, um, and had some weird restrictions sometimes. They couldn't kill off Luke, and that explains another character's death from back in the day. Yeah. Oh god. Just force pull him off the cliff. Can I even do that? No, it's no, not. I, no. I, I didn't mean you. I was just <laughs> yelling at the screen. Yeah. They really. You really should be able to do that. I'm sorry, is his name oh. Phil? Is it? Phil? Yeah. Yeah, I'm supposed to bait this guy. Okay. I don't remember this being in the episode, but okay. Wait, what? Are, are you also seriously asking me to do the, a puzzle like this while I'm being shot at? Yes. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Oh, okay, right. I thought the... Okay. I thought the, um... Purple blocks were like actual things. This is cool. Man, I wish my basement. Wait, wish my ventilation shafts had money in it. Yeah, that would be pretty, pretty nice. Oh, sweet! I found ten dollars. Oh, I found a dead rat. <laughs> well, at least you got money. I know, um, I may, we've made this joke, I made this joke with Lewis before where, <laughs> just imagine if coin battles in Smash actually gave you money in real life. <laughs> so, that'd be like, like, everyone would be doing coin battles at that point then. That'd be pretty good. I know it's one of the clones taking off his helmet as an idol. Yeah. Is this... Wait, what? I guess you just build up the... Uh. I don't know. Oh, okay, I see. Alright, so this was in the episode. Yeah. It was a much oh. deeper pit of doom, though. <laughs> yeah, that's totally gonna stay on there. What is your take on Grievous as a character? Like, do you prefer his more, um, um, imposing 
like, 2D animation version or the uh, actual canon interpretation? I never watched 2003 Clone Wars. Coughing vaguely European Grievous is the only one I know. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, hearing Grievous in 2003 Clone Wars is like hearing Boba Fett in the original Star Wars Holiday Special. Oh god. S sounds weird. Yeah. Like when you don't have like specific characters... Oh what? Why did they go back? Dang it. It's cool. No, I think you... I don't think it... No, this is a new one. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought these guys like destroyed them or something. Am I crazy? Or were, did the battle droids have their backs turned? I don't think they did. I mean, that'd be on brand for them for the show, but... <laughs> I, I love the scene where it's just like... Um, oh, of course those droids died. They, they were like... Earlier models. <laughs> Us new guys have like... Um, what's it? We have... Superior... Um, thingamabob. And we can think more or something. Roger, roger. Roger, roger. Poor schmucks. Yeah. Okay, I remember this. They they go into this room and it's like a, it's like a low fortune. I get out of it. Welcome to die. <laughs> well, so what is up with Kit Fisto's face in this game? I swear he didn't look this weird in Complete Saga. Really? I feel like I feel like this is how he always looked in Lego Star Wars. They kind of like they just took his model from Complete Saga. Maybe I I don't know. I didn't remember his face looking like that. I could be wrong. To the wiki. And yes, Lego Star Wars has its own. Wiki. <laughs> nice. There's a bunch of stuff here I can't do. Is that not destroyable? Okay. These things... Okay. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> okay, that was kind of cool. Did you find anything? I mean, based off of his m official minifigure and a model, a picture of his model from one of the games, it seems like they just use the same design. Okay, I'm probably, I, I must, I'm probably mistaken then. 
Uh, it's kind of weird. Lego Clone Wars. The Lego Clone Wars line did try to alter character appearances to match the cartoon designs a bit more. Mm. Like Mace Windu, most notably. Right. That makes sense. Kit Fisto still looks like, well, uh, late 90s, early 2000s Lego minifigure. Uh huh. Now, one thing I will say about Clone Wars in general is that um, the fact that it's an anthology series that goes across, like, character. Uh, it handles characters of the war through several seasons. Um, it gives the opportunity to uh, expand on a bunch of prequel characters that only had, like, maybe a few minutes of screen time before. Yeah, Kit Fisher didn't have any dialogue in the, the movies. Yeah, he had, like, he was in the Geonosis arena battle and he fought Palpatine, I think. Yes. Uh, yeah, but that that's essentially all he really did. I don't know. He might have been in some random scene, other scenes, but... Those were like the more notable ones. Um, the only, the only Jedi introduced in the prequels who had any significant amount of lines were Qui Gon, Windu, and Kiadi Mundi. Yeah. And Qui Gon specifically, like, ha basically being the main character in the first movie, um, and like the fact, I find I find it fascinating that. Um, his, if he survived the Darth Maul fight, Anakin's future would have played out a lot differently. Because, um, you know, at, fir like at first, um, Obi-Wan's only really, like, deciding to be um, Anakin's, like, mentor or master because Qui-Gon wanted it. Um... And he's not actually he's not exactly ready for that position necessarily. No, he wasn't. He he tried. Yeah. The real duel of the fates was the friends we lost along the way. <laughs> yeah. Like, but, like on surface level, that is um is a, a really cool fight scene. But when when you actually like consider what's at stake, uh, that that lightsaber duel is probably one of the most important in the whole saga, be just because of what it means, which is kind of fascinating. You wouldn't think that, because Darth Maul is. To um, Palpatine, he's more or less just seen as a as a goon he can use. Yeah, pretty. That's yeah, that's true. Um, something else. Uh... People tend to say people. To, yeah, what am I trying to say? People tend to treat Phantom Mess as kind of a throwaway movie in the saga as a whole. I, I am inclined to disagree for reasons. I can, I, 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 I do believe that's kind of disjointed from the rest of the movies, but it mm. does have bearing on the, uh, it's still have bearing on the rest of them. Yeah. I used to, f I used to think that you could. Um... I used to think that you could probably skip episodes 1 and 2, but nowadays I'm not really too sure. Um, I definitely need to watch them again um, to get like a final verdict on that, but there's a lot of important stuff that happens in those movies that I think help elevate why Revenge of the Sith is so tragic. Like, not even, not even putting in Clone Wars into account. 
Because, like, if you watch episode three without the seeing the other two movies, there's a lot of general build-up and character progression that's just not there, if you do it like that. Do you know how long he was waiting for you to finish that puzzle? Ah, <laughs> uh, good we, spinning. We, jo we joke about Grievous being nerfed in 3D Clone Wars, but in this episode, at this level's based off, he wrecked everyone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he did, he did like, kill the character I'm playing as now, so... Yeah, yeah, spoiler kids. Spoilers <laughs> kids. Yeah. Not Akbar does not live very long. Nope. I'm not really sure. Do I have to, like, use the clones? No. Hey, uh, Kit Fistle, you wanna help? Not when I'm a AI can be an AI controlled. Wait, oh, I'm sp I'm I think I'm supposed to use this. Okay. So I think I just wait for him to cough and then... Wait, what? I don't understand. Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay, that's actually kind of clever. <laughs> It's interesting how these bosses are a bit more puzzle focused than, uh, say, like Complete Saga. I think they probably realized that you can just jump slash like all the bosses in the, in those games, so they went with this approach instead. I guess I don't think it was much of an issue because the boss levels of the of the prior games mostly just <coughs> excuse me. Mostly just involve the bosses running away. That's true, yeah. Like, the only oh. boss where you're pretty much going straight for the boss is like Dooku in episode 2's portion. Yeah. I do remember. Hmm? Even Nate's blocking you with lightning. Yeah. Yeah, I really should <laughs> move the sensor bar. One thing I do remember is the fact that they really loved using the, um, throw objects at you and, like, you had to catch them back. Yeah. Am I even doing this right? I can't tell. Nandar, pick up the other lightsaber. <laughs> and I'll just stand here. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> oh, okay! <laughs> ah, kill it, kill it! <laughs> God. Come back, you. Oh, okay, now <laughs> no, he's, he's just gone. I like how I just have two lightsabers now. But even though, yeah, uh, Grievous is quote unquote nerfed. But he does have his he does still have his moments of uh, terror, I guess you could say. I think I, I guess it's oh okay. <laughs> I guess it's also the fact that 2003 Clone Wars kind of just overpowers everyone um, to like ten times or something the level they are ca like canonically. Um, Cause there's like, I'm not even gonna try going for that mini curse. Not worth it. Um, Cause like the one scene with like Mace Windu against the battle droids is absolutely insane. <laughs> Can I just do this? Yes. The clones aren't out though. 
Uh, I'm gonna... If I can just get to a screen transition, it should just... Oh. What, what the... Okay. How, wh excuse me? How did you do that? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> So apparently clones can just jump, like, 50 feet in the air for some reason. It's me, the Georgia! Ugh, I can't. <laughs> They're Gungans. Oh. Oh, hi. Oh, I forgot about this thing. This is just a bionicle. It kind of looks like it, yeah. And the frame rate's kind of crapping the bed right now. Oh wait, I didn't, I couldn't see the creature when they were in the shadows. It's more organic than blocky. Oh no! I guess the arms are like Lego. One of them yeah. anyways. Yeah, don't mind me guys, I'm just getting uh, studs. I know they. I know this contrast exists for gameplay purposes, but anytime they take like these obviously organic creatures and put like Lego parts on them, it just looks disturbing. Yeah, but. Okay, so I just. Oh, no, wrong way. I like this teamwork stuff you have to do. You don't. I don't think you ever really have to do this stuff in Complete Saga. Not to my knowledge, anyway. What's that? Pulling down levers? No, not really. Yeah. I will say the overall. Okay, getting studs out of me. Um. The level design is probably stronger in Complete Saga, but this game does have some cool ideas put into it that are new and not present in the other games. Most of the... Again, I feel like if they waited until like later seasons, they probably could have had something way better than this, but... I guess for what it's worth, this is a pretty fine job. There's so much going on here. Yeah, I get the studs. Ah, too late. Okay. Is this is this the last hurt? No. This is going on for a bit. Feels like my Wii's about to blow up. Yeah, frame rate's kind of given up. Yeah, a little bit. Ah. Okay. How? What is the stutter? Ah, dang, this is oh. ugly. Damn. There's <laughs> starts everywhere. Okay.
I do feel like this were, this arc was probably one of the stronger ones of season one. Um, I don't remember. I don't think you see Grievous's lair at any other point, so it's kind of cool in that way. Makes me wonder where he stores all his lightsabers. Yeah. Because I think it's implied that like he considers those like trophies for all the Jedi Jedi he's killed or something like that. Yeah, that, 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 that's his thing. Another, yeah. another lightsaber to add to my collection. <laughs> yeah, I like. I like the meme uh, going around where it's um, every time a character drops a lightsaber, <laughs> Grievous just runs in and just like, like say another lightsaber to add to my collection. You, you think he'd get mad at Obi Wan botted Maul's lightsaber in the Phantom Menace? <laughs> yeah, probably. I wish there were more... I, I, I feel like I've s talked about this before, but... I feel like... I, I, I wish there were more, like, uh, dual-wielding Jedi, like, two lightsabers kind of thing. There's not that many characters, if at all, that do that. Um, Ahsoka in later seasons of the Clone Wars. Oh yeah, Ahsoka. That's the, that's the big one. Um, there's Ahsoka and uh, Starkiller and Force Unleashed 2, so we're going to go f with um, Legends material. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Avengers starts with two lightsabers, I'm not sure oh, if she yeah. keeps using two. That's true. Yeah, Ventress is an interesting character. Yeah, I don't. Have we even seen her in season two yet? Uh, no, I don't think we have. That's kind of interesting. That's really weird. Um, it's interesting how like the three major antagonists have kind of taken a bit of a back seat in season two. Um, it's mostly been other general separatist threats and um. Mandalorians. Yeah, the man there's a big Mandalorian um, arc as well. Dooku was kind of involved with that, but only kind of in... More or less just kind of in the background, though. Because um, go going back to, to um, Dooku and... Um, uh, when he starts actually fighting... To the left. To, oh. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. No? Wait. Hmm. Oh, I gotta do like. Oh, okay. Hmm. There we go. I'm very close to true Jedi. Can we? Can we get that? Just need to destroy some random object or something. Oh, I just realized we don't have the clones anymore. They're gone. Yeah, the monster killed them. Dang. OK. 
Okay. Can I move it while while this is still in there? I, I assume not because it's the wire isn't very long, but Oh come on. Okay, yeah, does that doesn't work. And I plug one of those plugs into the, into it now. Okay, so we got that. Can I do this again? No. Oh. Okay, thank goodness. I was getting scared. So it was 125,000 of threshold? Yep. So what we... Okay, we don't put that there. What are we even, like, doing here? Uh... Uh... Put the... Doohickey on the right back on the left one. Okay, yeah, this looks like it's... More... Co correct now, maybe? Hmm. No? Ah. Uh. Hmm. This is bizarre. Okay, so take this off. doing <laughs> no I'm re I'm okay try messing with the other one wait oh okay I see um Oh. Okay. Okay, I figured that out, I guess. Is that... Can I just... Is this... Gonna work now? That plug isn't even in anymore. Oh. Oh, it just exploded completely. It's all gone. Okay. So in theory, I did. I should be able to. Uh, I don't understand this satellite dish. Oh, okay. I, I was. I guess I was just putting it on wrong. Okay, so. Guess we'll just fight Grievous for a little bit and then... Yeah, I can see the ship in the background. We're basically at the end. Duh! Is this just did a... Did you have two lightsabers? Yeah, I did earlier. I don't know where they went. Jump on the ship and win, I guess. Oh no! Get in. 
Okay. Yeah, that's how that's how it happened. Yeah, they totally both survived. Oh, they're actually gonna kill him off. Oh, that's wow. Ooh. Oh my gosh. That's actually more brutal than the actual show. Yeah, he just got stabbed in the show. Yeah. God, that's... Rip. That's messed up. And Can we, we lost Phil too. Can we play as a skeleton? <laughs> Surprised they're still using the same end of level fanfare for this game. Yeah. I'm not sure, I don't think they did in Force Awakens, I could be wrong. I'm not sure if that game really had a fanfare, uh, so to speak. <laughs> 